The coconut tree, known also as the tree of life, is the favorite breeding site and source of food for the rhino beetle. But the insect isn't picky. They'll burrow into any tree with exposed rotting branches as it provides the perfect condition, and this kind of damage is what generally happens after a storm or typhoon. One clear indication that your trees may be at risk is if you have an ant or termite infestation. Roland Kitigua, agent for the Office of Cooperative of Extension and Outreach of UOG so School of Agriculture and Life Sciences, explained that anyone can take the proper precautions to ensure that trees on their property oh, no, don't become infested with the rhino. Because I pruned it properly, it seals. Trees don't heal, trees seal. So after every typhoon, I clean, I manage this tree. And because of that, I don't have termites. Knowing the proper technique is important, with Kitigua saying it is part art and part science. He and his colleagues are working also with GPA and DPW and other agencies in order to instruct their crews for situations that require them to clear foliage in which they inadvertently create more breeding sites. Roland would like to get the resources to be able to train private citizens. A real workshop where we can go out there and you can actually have a saw in your hand and go out there and practice and right. we'll see, you know, what's the real situation, you know. Kitigua understands that the problem is island-wide and he alone can't combat the beetle. He hopes that everyone listening will become more aware of the situation and manage their trees because if we all do our small part, collectively we make a huge impact. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Julius Santos.